MIT and my name is Sarah. We are from JBA 1144C. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to enlighten you guys about the um, investment risk uh, that can be defined as the probability or likelihood of occurrence of losses relative to the expected return on any particular investment. Stating simply, it is a measure of the level of uncertainty of achieving the returns as per the expectations of the investor. It is the extent of unexpected results to be realized. Risk is an important component in assessment of the prospects of an investment. Most investors while making an investment consider less risk as favorable. The lesser the investment risk, more lucrative is the investment. However, the thumb rule is the higher the risk, the better the return. There are a few types of uh, investment risk and the first one is market risk. Okay, market risk is the risk of investment declining in value because of economy developments or any events that affect the entire market. There are uh, a few types of micro market risk um, which includes an equity risk, um, interest rate risk and currency risk. The second one is the liquidity risk. The risk of being unable to sell your investment at a fair price and get your money out when you want to. To sell the investment, you may need to accept a lower price. In some cases, such as exam market investments, it may not be possible to sell the investment at all. Next one is inflation risk. The risk of a loss in your purchasing power because the value of your investments does not keep up with inflation. Inflation erodes the purchasing power of money over time. The same amount of money will buy fewer goods and services. Inflation risk is particularly relevant if you own cash or debt investments like bonds. Shares offer some protection against against inflation because most companies can increase the price they charge to their customers. Share prices should therefore rise in line with inflation. Real estate also offers some protection because landlords can increase rents over time. Horizon risk is the risk that your investment horizon may be shortened because, uh, because of an unforeseen event, for example, the loss of your job. This may force you to sell investments that you were expected to hold for the long term. If you must sell at a time when the markets are down, you may lose money. Okay, so the last type of investment risk is foreign investment risk. The risk of loss when investing in foreign countries. When you buy foreign investments, for example, the shares of your companies in emerging, um, emerging markets, you face risks that do not exist in Canada. For example, the risk of nationalization.